Hello, welcome to FizzQuest. So this is the solution video for CSIR NET December 2019 Part B, question number 21. The question is, the energies available to a three-state system are 0, E and 2E, where E is greater than 0. So which of the following graphs best represents the temperature dependence of the specific heat? Four plots are given and we need to choose the correct plot. So let's get started. This question comes from the section statistical mechanics and the concept involved here is partition function. So in this case we have a three state system whose energies are 0, E and 2E. We need to find out the graphical representation of the temperature dependence of the specific heat. For that we need to evaluate the expression of specific heat as a function of temperature. Now how to find out the specific heat for this three state system? Because here we are given a system of some particle where certain energy levels are given and the question we are asked is about a, a thermodynamic quantity. So how to relate them? See when we deal with many particle system at thermal equilibrium the constituent particles have their microscopic properties like position, moment, etc. Now to uh, now the system as a whole has a certain macroscopic properties as well. So to describe the macroscopic quantities of the whole system, we need a tool which can correlate it with the microscopic details of the constituents of the system. And that is what is done by the partition function. So to evaluate the specific heat of this three stage system, we need to know the partition function and from that we can evaluate the specific heat. So the now the expression uh, by definition the specific heat at constant volume which is asked in the question Cv is equal to del U by del T where U is the internal energy. Now this U can be calculated by using the partition function of the system. So by definition uh, U can be expressed in terms of partition function Z as U is equal to del ln Z by del beta which is equal to minus 1 by Z del Z by del beta where beta is equal to 1 by KBT. KB is the Boltzmann constant. Now the general expression for the partition function is Z is equal to summation over GI e to the power minus beta EI. So now here uh, energy levels are given and GI is 1 here. So uh, this uh, energy we will just put the energy values in this case. So we'll, it will be 1 into e to the power b into 0 plus 1 into e to the power beta into e plus 1 into e to the power beta into 2e. So ultimately the first will be uh, the first expression will be 1. So ultimately the whole expression will be z is equal to 1 plus e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus 2 beta e which is the expression of partition function we have got. Now next step is calculation of the internal energy. So when we try to calculate the internal energy we will use this definition u is equal to minus 1 by z del z by del beta. So in place of uh, z we will put this expression so it will become uh, this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus 2 beta e into del into 1 plus e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus 2 beta e divided by del beta. So this expression when you differentiate it um, there is already a minus sign so and uh, th this when you differentiate ultimately this will give you expression my e minus of minus e into e to the power minus beta e minus 2e e to the power minus 2 beta e divided by 1 plus e to the power minus beta e plus uh, e to the power minus 2 beta e. So in this expression we already have a minus sign here and by the differentiation in both the terms minus sign comes. So if you take common minus e minus minus will become plus here. So final expression of internal energy will be equal to u is equal to e into e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus 2 beta e divided by 1 plus e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus 2 beta e. 
So this is the whole expression for internal energy. Now once we have got the internal energy, next step is calculation of the specific heat. Uh, so by definition Cv is equal to del U by del T. So now the internal energy expression is this, we have already calculated. So we will use, now the thing is, this internal energy expression is given in terms of beta. So this differentiation we can do it by parts. So this will become del u by del beta into del beta by del t. So we can uh, do in this way. So this will become del by del beta in e the expression of internal energy into del beta by del t. Now I already said beta is uh, 1 by kbt. So when this is differentiated with uh, the temperature it will give you minus 1 by kbt square. And uh, the differentiation, uh, to do this differentiation we need to use the formula, the general formula of differentiation of derivative of u by v by dt which is equal to u prime v minus uv prime divided by v square. So by using this formula we will differentiate this and I am not doing the differentiation, uh, writing the whole expression here. I will just put the final term. So this will give you minus 1 by kbt square. Here already we have a e and ultimately the final expression of this will become this will be equal to cv will be equal to e square by kbt square e to the power minus beta e plus 4 e to the power minus 2 beta e plus e to the power minus 3 beta e divided by 1 plus e to the power minus beta e plus e to the power minus 2 beta e whole square. So this is the expression of CV we have got. Now here to evaluate the plot what we need to do it here is we have to actually uh, find out how the specific heat behaves at different range of temperature. That means how it behaves at uh, when temperature is low and how it behaves when temperature is high. So we will use this expression uh, for uh, different values of t that means for uh, high temperature that means t, uh, t tending to infinity and for low temperature that is when t tending to zero. So uh, slow let's do that. So first of all at low temperature. Now when temperature is low means uh, see you can see that this this expression is in terms of beta and uh, beta is uh, 1 by kbt so when t is low that means beta will become high. So here we can write beta is very very uh, higher than uh, energy E. So that means E to the power minus beta E will be very very less than 1. So I am here saying is at low temperature not it is tending to 0. Uh, so now if we use these two things uh, in the given expression which we have already calculated. Here, this expression will become Cv is equal to, uh, now uh, what I need to tell you here is, see e to the power minus beta e is very very less. Now here we have already negative powers of e to the power minus 2 beta e and minus 3 beta e. So that means these two, since they have higher powers, this is a uh, square and this is square term of this this is the cube term of this so this uh, that means as compared to this term this term will be very negligible these two terms and uh, here these two terms are very negligible as compared to one so that means the denominator can be one at very low at low temperature and the numerator will become e to the power approximately it will become e to the power minus beta e so final expression at low temperature we can write e square by kbt square e to the power minus beta e. So this is the expression for at low temperature. Now we need to find out when it tends to zero. That means when the temperature goes to zero. Uh, so when t goes to zero that implies e to the power minus beta e will also goes to zero. So that means Cv will also goes to zero. So now we have got uh, at lower side of uh, region we have got the how the specific heat will behave. Now let's do for the higher uh, temperature. So in high temperature beta will be very very less than E and E to the power minus beta E will tend to 1. So here 
Now the expression of CV, now e to the power beta e will tend to 1 means, you can see if you put 1 here in place of beta e, this will become 1, this will this is square also uh, will be 1 and so it will multiply with 4, it will give you 4, this will also be 1. So 1 plus 4 plus 1, here it will be 6, this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1, this will be 3 square that is 9. So 6 by 9 we will get. So now we will get 6 by 9. So this will, the expression of CV will be equal to 6 e square by 9 kb t square at higher side of temperature. So now this is for higher range. Now we will check for the infinity. When t tends to infinity, now CV is proportional to 1 by t square. So one thing I should let you know that the curve at once it reaches the higher range, the behavior, the temperature will, the specific heat will decrease. Uh, following a pattern of uh, 1 by t square curve. So now when it tends to infinity, t tends to infinity, the CV will also tend to 0. So now when we using all the data, so these are the data we have got for 0, for lower range, for higher range and for infinity. So it will start from 0 and uh, increase following the exponential pattern then again it will decrease following a 1 by t, uh, the t square uh, form and then again it will tend to 0. So when we plot this, the plot will be behave like this. So now we will match this plot with our given options. So as you can see here, if you check the options here, you can see that option D is matching with our result. So correct answer for this question is option D.